Well, despite its immense political power, and it does have immense power, the group Black Lives Matter isn't really much of a group. It's a relatively small, flimsy organization. In fact, it doesn't really have a legal existence of its own. Officially, the primary Black Lives Matter group is simply a project of another nonprofit called Thousand Currents. Now, why is this interesting? Well, it's interesting because the current vice chair of Thousand Currents is a woman called Susan Rosenberg. And she's a convicted terrorist who spent 16 years in federal prison before she was given a pardon by Bill Clinton on the very last day in office. Bernie Carrick remembers this well. He's the former police commissioner of New York City, but before that, he worked in New Jersey, and he personally escorted Susan Rosenberg from the federal courthouse in Newark in 1985. He knows the story well, and we're happy to have him on tonight. Mr. Carrick, thank you for coming on. That picture is, is remarkable. So, Susan yeah, Rosenberg... I had, I had hair then, Tucker, I had hair. <laughs> and they are 15. So, what, who, who is Susan Rosenberg? Why is it significant that she now, in effect, works for Black Lives Matter? Well, it, it, for me, uh, on a personal note, it, it's, uh, it's important for your viewers to know who she is because Black Lives Matter, as I've said, dating back to 2015, is a revolutionary, a revolutionary Marxist group. That's what it is. It's a group that wants to overthrow this government, the country. It's a group that its founders, its three founders, were inspired by a woman named Joanne Chesimard, who goes by an African name, Asada Shakur, who lives in exile in Cuba after she assassinated a New Jersey state trooper. She was involved in a number of bombings and executions of New York City cops, cops in San Francisco, and cops in New Jersey. Um, that's who they are, that's what they're about. And when I try to explain that to people over the last two or three years, they didn't get it. Now, in the last few weeks, we learned Susan Rosenberg is one of their fundraising um, gurus, let's say. Well, Susan Rosenberg, in 1985, when you look at that photo, she was convicted of possessing hundreds of pounds of explosives. She was involved in the brinks Nyack robbery where two cops were killed and a security guard was killed. She was involved, her and her organization, the May 19th Communist Organization, they were involved in a number of police assassinations, bombings, the U.S. Capitol bombing, uh, the Naval War College bombing, and a number of others in, in the United States. She was a radical revolutionary, and she was let out of prison. She was commuted on the last day of President Clinton's um, term in office. Uh, after 16 years in prison, she was given 58 years in prison. Um, and now she's out. Who does she work for? Black Lives Matter. I think, I, I think, you know, we're missing something here. I think DOJ should be looking at Black Lives Matter as a terrorist group, as a terrorist organization. Um, and, I, and I think, I, I find it astounding that all the...